I'm here with Dr. Ali Simba, the acting director of ICT with the Ministry of Communication, Science and Technology in Tanzania, and also with Professor Nkoma, the Director General of the Tanzanian Communications Regulatory Authority. Gentlemen, you're very welcome to join sure. us here today in the World Telecommunication Development Conference. Thank you very much. Thank you. May I start by asking you, Dr. Simba, yes, please. how is the Ministry and the Regulatory Authority working together in Tanzania? Yeah, basically the Ministry of Communication, Science and Technology is divided into two major subsectors, that is communication, or we call it ICT, and the science and technology. Now, in terms of ICT, the Ministry is mandated to coordinate, formulate, develop and implement national ICT policies, guidelines, programs and other projects so as to enhance the use of ICT in improving national social economic programs. Very good. So you're working in the whole <coughs> ecosystem there. And yes. Professor Nkoma, from your perspective in the regulatory authority, how is it working? Well, as you know, the, uh, at the present moment, the communication services are very important in any society. And the communication service providers are actually licensed by the regulatory body. So we license them and we also manage the resources like frequencies and numbers. Yeah. Okay. And Dr. Simba, <coughs> the Connector School Connected Community Project, yes. um, the success of that is, is well known and well documented in Tanzania. Can okay. you tell us a little bit about what the next steps will be? Thank you very much. I'm not sure if the time will allow, but maybe I should get back where did it started? Basically, it started in 2010 in Hyderabad, where the ITU put a call for proposal from countries, and the Tanzania applied for the support, and we got it. And now we have 49 schools. Basically, some are nursing schools, some are the secondary school, and some are just one primary school. Now, when we look into the project, we are very interested because in terms of course resources, you know, you have only two computers, but 12 kids can use it. So it is something that we are very much appreciated. And based on that fact, the government now is in, is in the plan to implement other projects from other funds to increase the number of schools connected. In the near future, our plan is to have around 300 schools connected. But we have what we call Tanzania Beyond Tomorrow that is going to look holistically on the issue of e-learning. And we believe this will be part of that initiative. So you're really heading towards a future of fully connected schools throughout Tanzania? Correct. And Professor Nkoma, can you give us an example of the types of ICT applications that are being used currently in Tanzania? Right, there are quite a number of applications, but I'll pick two. Uh, one is the internet service provision, where somebody actually gets internet through the mobile phone. And another one is financial services. I mean, the financial service in terms of uh, making payments to other people, utility payments, for example, water, electricity, uh, telev pay television, and uh, checking with bank accounts. Those are very popular applications. And from your perspective in the ministry, are there other applications that you see becoming really prevalent? Yeah, I think in the near future, we're going to have a lot of applications. Basically, we are now finalizing the use of e-government. The agency has been set, and now we are in the where that the, the citizen can start paying their taxes and everything using or doing applications for passport and everything from the internet. But again, I understand we have the e earth strategy that is going to allow people now to use e, I mean ICT as a means to, to, to get their services. And again, when you talk about e education, we are, there's a lot of an, a lot of initiative living along the con connected school connected community we are now looking into content so that the student can be able to access this content from a single source and can be used in many other uh, schools to cut costs and of course to have better materials and professor Nkoma, can you tell us some of the the key achievements and also what the future holds for the regulatory authority right um, first of all the infrastructure development we have a lot of, a lot of wireless networks but also now we've had optical fiber networks, uh, both terrestrial and uh, submarine, landing in Dar es Salaam. I think we have three cables landing there. And then services, either voice services or video services or data services. These are also growing very fast. And then applications, as I said earlier, like mobile payments, uh, internet service provision. And recently we had the digital broadcasting migration. It's also very important. Yeah. 
Very good. And Dr. Simba, may I conclude with the question to you yes, about the broadband future of Tanzania. What are your hopes for the broadband future, which is, of course, our theme here at the WTDC this week? Correct, and it, I think the theme came at the very right time because right now in the country, we're in the process of developing the broadband strategy. Now, but you look, when you look into the ground, because you understand the broadband is an ecosystem, we have a very well improved infrastructure, the professor has mentioned that. The fiber cable now goes about 7,000 kilometers. It goes to every region, and our future in two, three years to make sure it goes to every district of the country. We are now also connecting the government. We have what we call government, where all the government institutions are going to be connected by the fiber. So the future real is very bright. We have some challenges, of course, in the area of content. We need to do a lot of issues there and issue of contents. Uh, but investment is good because the government is working very closely with the, with the private sector. Where the private sector is not there, the government is doing its work. We have universal access fund for the communication, where we are trying to send the broadband to the rural using the wireless technology. So we are in a very right position, and the theme of this meeting, I think, is very is, is perfect. And what we will get here going back home is something we are going to use it very well. Dr. Simba, thank you very much. Professor Nkoma, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you very Thanks much for having us. Yeah.